Welcome to another Fusion 360 drawing tutorial. We're going to draw a mortise and tenon joint at 7 degrees for the bottom of the stool. Let's get started. Select the plus up the top, create a new sketch. We're going to be drawing on the front plane, which you can see it up the top here, the front plane. Let's get start. Let's start drawing. Select L off the keyboard, which gives you a line command. L here we go here. We're drawing L. I'm not putting any measurements in as you can see. I'm not really fast. So that's something sort of what we're after. Select parallel. I'm selecting this one and this one. And, th and that's working out well. Let's go D on the keyboard. Let's go from that line that line without the side 150 millimeters enter zoom in and this piece here we're going to go 39 and the reason being is when you do a mortise and tenon a third of 39 is 13 so we're going to do the same here clicking on there and there oops uh, we're going 150, enter, whoop, control Z. That didn't work out well, did it? Let's go D on the keyboard. 1, 2, 150, enter. And we select these two. Whoop. Come up with the degrees. Didn't want that. D. Let's do that again. See if they can come up again. No, it doesn't like that. Okay, let's see if we can do a parallel line. Parallel, parallel. That's good. Let's try that again. D. Being tricky for us. So let's zoom in. Let's zoom in here. Select these two here, that one and that one. Now it's saying it's 78. We want to be 90 minus 7. So we want to be 83 degrees. Enter. And you can see them both moving together. So that's awesome. We've, we're well and truly, well and truly started. Let's go E for extrude. And it says, what do you want to extrude? I want to extrude these ones. 39 millimeters. Enter. Hit the home button, you can see it's all it's all working really well. We're now going to move to the align tool. So if you can't find the align tool, just go S on the keyboard. And this is a shortcut, S for shortcut. So just go align. That's the first one there. Align. And it's saying, what do you want to align? So we want to align here, align that. Let's rotate this one. And we want to align that one there. Press OK. And really, we've got our joint done. But we're not finished yet. Let's, uh, let's keep on going. We want to now, uh, after the Align tool, we want to now come in. And we're going to select the face. We're just going to go Create. I was hoping it would. Oh, so it's been very difficult. So let's come back here, on the face, create text. So we just want to quickly write our name, enter, okay, and so you've got your name there, and that's really handy, that's really handy to have, and we want to have that there. sketch that's got our name on our project we can also just uh, let's have let's come back to it for a second let's go there let's go let's extrude our name two millimeters enter so that's extruded okay zooming in let's let's go to the next section so we've done we've done a line we've got it going to um, 
now we're going to come we're going to uh, draw the uh, the tenon. So let's go and draw the tenon. So what we want to do is we've got bodies. We need to turn off body one. We're going to rotate it. Oops. Left. Let's start drawing. So I'm going to go line. Say what what plane do you want? And here we go here. Now I'm going to have to go a bit faster. Let's go over here. D on the keyboard, select, I'm going to go 7, enter, seven. enter, our magic 13, 13 is a third, when you do tenons, it's always a third, so the answer isn't a measurement, it's more a, um, it's a fraction. So that's looking that's looking really good. So we're just going to extrude that. E for extrude. Saying, what do you want to extrude? That's what we want to extrude. Let's just let's rotate a little bit. We want to extrude at 50 millimeters. Let's grab it, move it. Uh, 50, 50, oh, enter. And that's our drawing there. Let's turn on our body one. That's looking really good. Let's just let's just center it. We're going to hit the combine tool in the middle here. So hit combine. It's saying what's the target body? This is the target body, and it's saying what is the tool body? This is the tool body. And we're not going to go join. We're going to go cut. Go OK. And there we have it. If I turn that off, if I turn body two off, you can see the tenon. Okay. Last of all. We want to come up here and go appearance and scroll down oops and we want to go bamboo on here just drag the color on and cherry on here go close and there we have it that is our drawing we've learned a line combine now there's one other section we want to do actually one other section we want to go move and we want to go rotate and it says the axis so we're going to select the axis the axis is here and we want to grab it we move it minus seven enter oops minus seven and it's not letting me do it minus seven bigger oh actually it's saying select something let's just cancel that for a second let's go Move body and body. I'm going to select the axis it's down there. And we'll go seven. Minus seven. Enter. We're almost done. And now we're just going to go R for rectangle, R for rectangle, and draw draw a box here. We're then going to come back here. I'm going to go E for extrude, E for extrude, and grab that. I'm going to go symmetric, grab that there, drag it out, cut, OK. And now our ladder is sitting exactly on the ground, seven degrees both way. It has our name on it. We've done our mortise and tenon joint. So well done for, the, for completing this tutorial, and I look forward to sharing the next one with you soon. Bye for now.